everybody, and welcome to the weigh-ins and the press conference for the Creator Clash that's happening tomorrow. Uh, we've got a great, great crowd here. We have all our fighters ready to go, and uh, it's going to be a very, very exciting event. People have work been working very, very hard on this, training for, uh, I mean, some of these guys have been training for almost a year. Some of these guys have been training for only a couple of months, getting in late, uh, kind of coming in last second after some injuries and stuff came in, but they're ready to go, and uh, it's it's a very very exciting event, and uh, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and introduce introduce some people. Yeah, want to go ahead and bring them in? Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. We have the blue corner coming in first. We have Matt Watson of Super Mega Middleweight. We have cruiserweight Alex Ernst. Heavyweight, DJ Welch of Animators vs. Games. Yeah, look at that. Cruiserweight, the odd one is out. Junior middleweight, just a minx. All the way from Ireland. Cruiserweight, AB of the H3 podcast. <laughs> Next up, lightweight, we have Michael Reeves. <laughs> Heavyweight, we have Harley of Epic Mealtime. And our main event of the night in the blue corner is going to be Dr. Mike. Yeah. Very good, look at that, that's a good looking crew. In the blue corner, looking real good. Okay, next. In the red corner. We have middleweight, Dad. All the way from town, USA. Very good, Dad. Very, very good. We have Ryan McGee of Super Mega Cruiserweight. We have heavyweight Eric of Internet Comment Etiquette. Cruiserweight, I did a thing. All the way from Australia. Junior middleweight, Yodeling Haley. Cruiserweight, Hundar of Muscle Party. We have lightweight, Graham Steven. And we have heavyweight Aaron Hansen of Game Grumps. <laughs> and for our main event of the night in the red corner, we have iDubs. Locked in. Impressive. Very impressive. You locked in? Uh, yeah, I'm locked in. That's good, because the fight's tomorrow. If you weren't locked in, that'd be really bad. <laughs> okay, these guys have been working really, really hard. Uh, I mean, as you can see, I mean, the physique, every single one of them is at the peak of their physical form of their entire lives. Very, very impressive. And uh, we're going to go ahead and get started with some weigh-ins. We're going to go ahead and get started with some weigh-ins here. Um, where's Ag? I'm over here. Oh, you're over there. Okay, great. You want to take it? Uh, yeah. 
All right, starting off the blue corner, Matt Watson. Come on down. Look at that. Matt Watson weighs in today at 156.8 pounds. Okay. And his opponent, Dad. Dad's official weigh in, 158.2 pounds. Looking like the machine that he actually is. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Go ahead. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's a. Well, that's okay, because he's already balding a little bit, so it's not going to be too big of a deal. Next up. Alex Ernst. Alex's official weight today is 187.2 pounds. Up next is Ryan McGee. Ryan's official weight, 181.2 pounds. That really look like you hate each other. Yeah, just for the pictures, it's fine. <laughs> All right, very good. <clears throat> At, go ahead. Up next is DJ Welsh. DJ Welsh's official weight, 215.2 pounds. <laughs> and his opponent, Eric from Internet Common Etiquette.
Eric weighs in at 222.8 pounds. Are you going to go grab a drink after this? No, it's up to you. you just I'll go get the best man at my wedding? Absolutely. I'm gonna, I'll, I'll yelp some stuff. Uh, they took enough pictures, it's fine. All right, good job, guys. Very good, very good, very good. Yeah. Okay, yeah, go ahead. Up he next. said oh. that somebody's up next. Yeah, all right. Uh, <laughs> up next in the Cruiserweight division, the odd one's out. The odd ones out weighs in today at 185.6 pounds. 185.6. The precision. And his opponent, I did a thing. The thing weighs in today at 186.6 pounds. Are we making it scary? Right. So I'm like looking up to you right now. How does it feel? <laughs> I mean, I, I can get under you and. I, that came out wrong. <laughs> because of that mishap, I'm going to go extra hard tonight or tomorrow. Uh, hey. Yeah, or tonight. I mean, hey, who knows what's going to happen? All right, very good. Very good. Thank you, guys. Very good. Up next, we've got Justin Minx. Justin Mix weighs in today at 155.4. Her opponent, Yodeling Haley. Yodeling Haley comes in today at 147.6. I'm going to be punching you tomorrow. I'm going to be punching you tomorrow. Wait, really? I think so. I think we need to look angry now for the cameras. Wow, look how mean they are. Very angry. All right, very good. Thank you. Great job. Great job. Justin Minx and Yodeling Haley. Up next, we've got A.B. from the H3 Podcast. A.B. <laughs> weighs in today at 180.4 pounds. His opponent, Hundar. Hundar weighs in today at 186.2 pounds. I didn't want the picture to look awkward with only his shirt off, so. <laughs> Thank you, bro. Appreciate that. Anytime, man. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> meaner, meaner. His eyes are too big. Okay, that's fine. 
That's how he got a H3 heartthrob of 2021, actually. Can't look too mean. All right, thank you guys. It's time for Michael Reeves. Is in today at 121 pounds. Yeah. And his opponent, Graham. Yeah. Graham weighs in today at 127. Face, supposed to face off. Where'd you get that shirt? <laughs> I made it two minutes ago before the press <laughs> conference. Nice. <laughs> you got some nice material on. <laughs> All right, good stuff. <laughs> I think they were enjoying that exactly as much as they should have, actually. That was great. All right, up next is Harley. Let's go! Woo! Harley weighs in today at 276.8 pounds. <laughs> and his opponent, Aaron Hansen. weighs in today at 214.4 pounds. Oh, I, didn't do, I didn't do a flexing. I didn't do a, I didn't do a flexing. <laughs> first one's free. First one's free. What? I said the first picture's free. Okay. You better, you better have fun tomorrow, bitch. <laughs> I'm gonna have fun punching you in the face and body. Oh, well, if you perform well, maybe FoozyTube will sign you to his boxing promotion. <laughs> I'll just... <laughs> I'm just going to punch you, dude. I don't care about anything else. Put your hands up and put your nipples on my nipples. <laughs> nice. Nice. It was warm and sticky. Wait, do we have to be not, like, angry? Like yeah, just look angry. Yeah, yeah. As angry as you guys actually are. Mm, yeah, look at that. Look at them heavyweights. All right. Thanks, guys. Our last two combatants for the evening. First up, Dr. Mike. Dr. Mike weighs in today at 188.4. Now I know why he's main event. Look at that. Now I know why he's main event. Take a look at that. <laughs> and his opponent, I Dubs. Dubs weighs in today at 188 pounds. Yeah. No. Yes. Nah. You're gonna die tomorrow. 
I can revive myself? <laughs> eh, eh, eh. It's a good thing there's going to be a doctor in the ring. All seriousness. Yeah, that's kind of a cool thing to say, I guess. <laughs> All right, thank you guys. Thank you guys. Okay, so uh, <clears throat> we are going to move on to the press conference uh, for a little bit. We'll uh, take some questions from the audience, but also we want to walk around and uh, we want to talk to some of the fighters actually. And uh, we're going to go in order of, uh, we're actually going to go in order of uh, uh, what, what the fights are going to happen is going to be. That wasn't English, but you guys know what I mean. So, okay. English, words, American, very good. Our first fight of the night tomorrow will be Dad versus Matt Crack Smokin' Watson. <laughs> Seriously, you guys, are, 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 there mics, are there mics on? Yes, please. It's on. Wait for it's it. On. Wait, wait. Oh, they're on. on. Dad is on. They're on. Dad is on. Dad has been on. Who, who chose that name for me? I didn't submit that one myself. Uh, somebody did. It's true. Yeah, it, was, it is true. That's why I'm going to win. <laughs> That's awesome. That's fantastic. Power. So, Matt, you're, uh, you're, a, a, you're part of the duo, Super Mega. You're a former Markiplier employee. That's right. <laughs> yes. So how is your experience going to go and, and, and help you uh, in this fight? Your training, everything else that you've done. How is your experience in content creation uh, going to, uh, or how has it helped you train for this? Well... Um, it hasn't, uh, because what I do has nothing to do with exercising. It's awesome. It's like the farthest thing from it. But uh, I like to think that that you know Markiplier is watching over me, and uh, he has such big muscles that I that I I feel like I learned a lot just by by seeing him have big muscles, mm. and I and I think that you know I kind of have his blessing for this fight. Mm. And uh, beautiful. I'm ready to kick some ass. Beautiful. I'm beautiful. Absolutely kick some ass. This geriatric fuck over here. Dad, are you going to take that? I'm sorry. No, I will not. Because he's technically wrong. He fried his brain with drugs, as we all know. Dad bought is only four years old, you chode. I was built for this. I was built in a facility in Town, USA, programmed literally to obliterate. And I will obliterate Matt Watson. Okay. Dad, I, I've heard that you obey the server. Can you tell us more about that? Yes, that is true. I obey the server. The server controls all of you. You don't know. If you watch Dad's YouTube channel, sub to Dad. Dad <laughs> obeys the YouTube server, and it has programmed him to obliterate Matt Watson. You've been specifically programmed to obliterate Matt Watson as a boxer. Yes, there are over 2,000 bots in the facility, and I am model number negative two. And I am programmed to obliterate Matt Watson. So, Dad, something that's very impressive to me about your uh, about your your programming is that you have emotions. Is that true? I'm waiting for the camera to turn on to me. Hi. Yes. So that is true. What is it about Matt Watson's diss track that made you cry? Matt was incredibly disrespectful to Nathan, who I am cloned after. Mm. He made fun of his bald hair, but. He neglected that dad has infinite abs and ancient pecs of, of wisdom. <laughs> so. Very good. What did, did dad, what did dad do to, to develop such chiseled abs? Oh, watched a lot of Hajime no Ippo, yeah. the anime, and One Punch Man, the anime. I programmed myself with a PlayStation 1, playing those discs into my CPU to obliterate Matt Watson. Very good. Very good. Now. Uh, I do have one last question. Matt, is it true that you were, after you were going to destroy Dad, uh, you were going to take Dad's wife, Scarlett, out to a nice seafood dinner and uh, woo her? Is it true that you said that? Win or lose, I'm still doing that. Very it good. wasn't even my idea. I'm gonna whine her, dine her. You know the rest. Oh, of course. Absolutely. Very good. Thank you, guys. Woo! Thank you guys, thank you guys, thank you guys. Okay. Our next fight of the night will be Ryan McGee against Alex Ernst. That'll be our next fight of the night. 
Ryan, also a member of Super Mega. Yes. Also a member of Super Mega. How is your experience in content creation with Super Mega, and also as a former employee of Markiplier, helped you get ready for this fight? Well. Uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> no, it's fine. Uh, as Matt said, uh, Mark does have big muscles, and he used to actually wake us up at 6 a.m. every morning to go rock climbing with him, and then Denny's. And so I think that that was good enough training for my muscles right now. I did a little bit of training afterwards, just a tiny little bit. Uh, Hand-eye coordination when it comes to editing Let's Plays for Markiplier, definitely. Mm. Uh, yeah. Amazing. Mark's Jesus. Amazing. That's fantastic. That's fantastic. So you made a big body transformation for this. If you, what was that supposed to mean? I'm just saying your body was transformed heavily. I, I gained some muscle, yeah. Yeah. And you also quit vaping? <laughs> yeah. He did, oh, he did. He we did both, quit I'm vaping, a, guys. I'm 30 minutes sober. Incredible, <laughs> incredible, incredible. Alex. Yeah. You used to package meat at your father's butcher shop, is that true? Yes, that is true. So how has uh, handling your father's meat helped you prepare for this fight? You know, I really don't like it when you word it like that, but uh, <laughs> it was a lot of uh, coldness, because mm. I would have to go in the freezer sometimes, but then I would have to be precise on the, the ounces of how much things weigh. Um, so I've been very precise about things. And he said he rock climbed. I, that is new. I do not rock climb, but... Uh, I did get lost on a hike because he posted a photo of his body and I thought he looked really good and he looks really good. I'm really proud of you for everything. Your quit vaping. That's like, I'm genuinely proud. Um, um, what were you saying again? Uh, I mean, I thought that was beautiful. I'm going to be honest. Well, thank you. I, I, I got lost too. So, thank you. Very good, very good. What, what, was, uh, what was your biggest uh, obstacle in training for this? Weight management. Mm. Managing your own weight or managing the weights in the gym because you were lifting so much? Well, my weight would fluctuate. It would go up, it would go down, it would go up, it would go down, and I would I'd go a little mad from it. But my weight is where I want it to be. Um, so I'm, I'm happy now. Okay, very good, very good. All right, thank you guys. Our next fight of the night is going to be Eric, internet comment etiquette Eric, against DJ Welch. <laughs> Eric, you're the most respectful person on the internet, is that true? Uh, yeah, I'd say so. So how is, that, uh, how is that respectability that you have, how is it actually going to help you in the fight? Tomorrow well, night. I, I think it's about, uh, part of respect is knowing what's going on in someone else's head. So when I'm in the ring with DJ, uh, I spend a lot of time getting into DJ's head. Mm. And what I found there was lovely. And uh, I can't wait to see it on the outside. <laughs> That's wonderful. That's wonderful. So DJ, what is in your head? Uh, well, I, I play video games, so that's, that's cool. So those are in my head. And um, I Good. box now, so nice. I'm going to show that. Tomorrow. You box now, and you were actually a late addition, weren't you? you I you was. You about two months ago. Yeah. It was but you have an MMA background. Yeah, I, I used to do a little MMA here and there. Okay, the very good. So you're, you're, you came in late, you're still ready to go. Very impressive. I mean, you, you asked most people two months out from a, from a boxing match, hey, we need somebody to fill, are you in? Nobody in the world is gonna say no except for this guy. So, yeah. very impressive. Very, very impressive, I, I DJ. I would have loved two months. That would have been really cool. I had a, about five weeks. <laughs> yeah, five weeks, my bad. See, I round up on everything. Yeah, no, I that's how, that. That's how I, that's yeah. what I told my parents whenever I was in school. Yeah. I just, I got hundreds on everything, it was great. To, to be fair, I think five weeks might be all you need to beat me. <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I've, I've been reading the comments on your videos, actually. It seems your fans think the same thing. It seems that they have very little faith. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I love to surprise people. And uh, if I don't, then things went exactly as planned. Well, there you go. Well, you surprised me, because here's the thing. You're actually incredibly good-looking for your age. Thank you. Yeah. Because I, I did not, I mean, 
Wait. Did, but I mean, thank you. Did you guys know Eric is 37? I thought you were my age. Yeah. Everybody yeah. tells me that. Yeah, you're incredibly good looking. Stem cells. Yeah. Great skin, everything. Uh, DJ, you helped build the AR systems on Instagram and Twitter, is that right? Yes, I did. Do you think you could beat Eric and AR? Uh, y yeah, I, th I think so. You I think could I could help Dadbot that. too, maybe. Add, cool. add to his technology, maybe. We might, we might have another match in the future. <laughs> All right, thank you guys. Very good, thank you guys. Uh, next match. <laughs> the next match tomorrow night is going to be Odd One Is Out versus I Did A Thing. <laughs> so, uh, I Did A Thing hails from Australia. Is that right? Yep, it is. Did you know Odd One's got a personal vendetta against Australia. No. Yeah. Yeah, the entire country. Yeah, Australia. the entire country. That's actually why he wanted to, to do this. Mm -hmm. Is you're, you're now representing all of Australia. How does that make you feel? Kind of proud, really. <laughs> it's very, awesome. Very, very, very proud. But what if you lose? And you let the whole country down? <laughs> you know, I'm, I think I'm the first Australian to ever come to America, so they're going to be happy <laughs> either way. <laughs> very good, very good. So... What, uh, whenever you were training, what is, uh, how, how do you feel after, after your training? How, how long did you train for? What, what, was, uh, what was the thing that you thought you needed to work on the most? I think I've been training for like five months and I think just punching, that was the thing. Yeah. Just punching. thought, Very good. I did it, I thought more of this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Uh, odd one. Yo. It's your birthday tomorrow. <laughs> it sure is. It is your birthday yeah. tomorrow. On, on fight night. What if you lose on your birthday? Uh, uh, well, I mean, I, that, I haven't even considered it, really. But, but I, mean, if, I mean, if you do. Uh, you know, we'll cross that bridge if it happens. When it happens. <laughs> I mean, this guy, all, he's representing all of Australia. You know, I mean, that's big time. Yeah, and I'm representing all May 14th birthdays. So. Oh, there we go. There we go. Very good. Very good. When you were, when you were training for this, mm -hmm. Did you, did you have a specific vision of, man, I, I really got to beat Australia? What, what did you need to do to be able to beat Australia? Well, I guess I didn't really have a vision of Australia, but I envisioned I did a thing, and I would aim up, aim just a little bit higher every time. It's so, like, strategy. when I would throw punches, I would just go, right there is good. That's good. Very good. Very good. Yeah. Very good. All right. Thank you, guys. <laughs> For our next match of the night, we have from Ireland, Just a Minx, the Gaelic Goblin. Is that true? Did you call yourself the Gaelic Goblin? Who? No, I didn't. I wanted to call myself. Um, what did you want to call yourself? I got banned on Twitch for the word. Oh. <laughs> oh, uh, okay. Well, we'll just call you the Gaelic Goblin. How's that sound? <laughs> okay. And uh, Yodeling Haley. So, Yodeling Haley, is it true that you said you don't think Ireland is real? Yes. So, what is the, what, what is the deciding factor that makes Ireland not real? Well, I've never seen it. I've never been there. Um, so, I just have no proof. May, maybe, like, we could go to Ireland together sometime after the fight. You want to go somewhere that you don't believe is real? Well, I, I want you to prove it to me. I want to I believe. I really want to believe. Man, England just took it. half our country. There's still half of it left. <laughs> There's sti we're still fighting. It might be a bunch of alcoholics and pubs, but we're still there. Oh, Jesus, she said that. Yeah, she, she also said her least favorite vegetable is a potato. <laughs> well, that's oh, you're no, just, just attacking that. me now. You're just attacking me. Why would no, you bring up potatoes? That's, that's her words, you know we had the famine. This is on you. This isn't on her. That is her words, not mine. It was in the, the paper that exists. Uh... So, Minx, you want to bring glory to Ireland? What? You want to bring some glory to... Normally, I'm the one saying what after you speak. No. You want to bring glory to Ireland, is that right? Uh, yeah, I do. I really want to... No, not really. I, I actually kind of like America. You guys have Uber Eats here. We don't have that back there. We still call up the chipper and I'm like, hey, can I have a kebab? And then they take like two hours. Here I do Uber Eats. Priority there in a second. So realistically, I'm just here for me, myself, and I and my muscles. 
And my dad, dad, I love you. Where's the camera? Dad. No, no, bro, no, my dad, not you. Hey, good job, hey. Hey, my man. Double dipping. Oh, please, um, is there security? Okay, that's happening. You yep, thank you. You too. Mm -hmm. You're gonna do great. This is a court, court case. Hey, Minx, Minx, he activated his programming, he's voice activated, so that's, that's your fault. Her okay. biological dad told me that he would disown her if she lost, if she gets KO'd, specifically. Yes, so, he did. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> Minx, what was, your, what, what was the, your biggest obstacle in your training? Alcoholism. <laughs> um, well, we I, already know you're Irish, so. I watched, uh, my, uh, it was Mike Tyson's one, coming back from it, probably on a replay, and I, too, thought I could do it. Turns out I couldn't, but, I lost weight. Hey, and that's what matters. That's what matters. Haley, you, you came into this a little bit late, didn't you? I did. What, uh, what, what uh, I guess, led you to, to really want to jump at this and go for it? For fun. For Something fun? Something new. Cool. Something so exciting. You wanted to beat Minx's face into a bloody pulp for fun? Yeah. Fantastic. Thank you, guys. Our next fight of the night is A.B. Ayad, Star Killer, as many people know him as, and Hundar. <laughs> Hundar's mic's not on. <laughs> but Star Killer's is. No, none of our mics work. Mine's on. Best. I'll, I'll just talk, yeah. don't worry about it. Yeah, him. go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> so, look, everybody in the room knows, everybody on the internet knows, AB was the H3 heartthrob of 2021. So yes, thank you for acknowledging that. Yeah, look at his eyes, look at everything. Beautiful skin, beautiful hair. Very good. So how did you how did you take that energy and channel it into your training for your boxing? Uh, that's a tough question that I don't really have the answer to. I could tell you that it prepared me to not be ready for boxing. I was not ready, I was out of shape. But uh, I think in the end. I don't know what the hell I'm saying. No, it didn't help at all. <laughs> <laughs> well, I heard you gained 15 pounds of muscle this week. Uh, yeah, 15 pounds of McDonald's muscles. There yeah. you go. There was some kind of misunderstanding between uh, me and the event, and I didn't think that we needed to be within 10 pounds because we're not doing a professional fight. And I found out two nights ago that I was wrong. And so I've been slamming creatine and McDonald's and everything I get my hands on. And I feel like shit, and I took a massive shit right after we weighed in. <laughs> So how many, how many calories did you eat in the last few days? McDonald's, I, I, I switched it up. I got some Taco Bell on there, some Wendy's. Yeah. Well, I'm ready. Did, you count, did you count the amount of calories? No, 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 no. That's all out the window at this You should have gotten with Harley for that. Yeah. Next He's got time. Some, some experience from back in the day. Hondar's mic works now. Hey, guys, my mic works now. It how, does. How come everybody put their shirts back on? Well, it, nice, brother. Nice. Not everyone is quite as shredded as you, Hondar. I saw a lot of good bodies up here. I think you guys should be proud. It should be. Proud of all yeah, of just, you. Everybody just pop your shirts there off. There we go. That's fine. No. There we go, baby. So, uh, formerly of Cow Chop, co-owner, co-founder, is that right? Yeah, whatever. It's so, dead. It's it doesn't matter. It's gone. It's all this for me with OTK. It's just, I don't even know what the words are anymore. But yeah. So, you, you, you're, you're a fitness enthusiast, is that right? Yeah, yeah. You're, into, you're into working out, lifting. How, how, how many years have you been working out? I've been lifting. Oh, you said how many gears? Uh, uh, I don't know, like seven? Seven years of hardcore training. I mean, sometimes. I was hungover for a lot of them, honestly. Four years of hardcore training. Yeah, that's Incredible. Good. I can't round so, it down. <laughs> so when did you uh, start your boxing training for the event? Uh, I started when AB started, which was what, like December? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so he has been going at it for so, for a while. So when you think about it like that, he's not really the underdog, you know? It's kind of like we had equal time, you know, we both well, had really good coaches. Well, you had plus four years. Y you look, seven years. You're, you're more charming, I'm a little uglier, but I think, I think it kind of evens out in the end. What do you think? We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this will be our uh, first perfect tie. It's going to even out 100%, so uh, awesome. Thank you guys so much. No. Oh, it works. Our next fight for tomorrow night is going to be Graham Stephen. 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 Woo! 
Sorry. <laughs> Against uh, Mikhail Rivas. <laughs> Michael Reeves. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, it's on. So, Graham Stephan. Stephen. <laughs> Graham <laughs> Stephan. Kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> a, lot of, <laughs> a lot of people know you as a real estate agent and a financial guru. Is that right? I guess so. But you're, yeah. actually, you're actually also a YouTuber. Yeah. So you, what made you want to go from having uh, training your mind, your business sense, to training your body and wanting to box? It's just so different, and I thought that I would look back at this and regret not doing it, so I figured, why not? Right. Well, now you're going to look back at this and probably not remember. Yeah, that's so. true. <laughs> probably for the best. So, Michael, you're, you're uh, in a similar situation. You're, you're uh, a professional Fortnite player and a dream SMP hopeful. Is yeah, that true? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. That's it. Yes. Uh, and you kind of like robots, too. Yeah, sometimes, yeah. Okay. Makes so, sense. what made you want to take that and channel it into boxing? No, no relation at all. I've, like, through hard work and dedication, I've managed, like, over the last four months to ignore my YouTube channel so I could do boxing. So, that's been pretty go. tough. Um, yeah, yeah. 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 It's been tough. You know. You know how it is. So, here's my question. How were you able to actually focus that hard on not actually making any content for four months? Dude, it's, it is a tough one. It's harder than you think, actually. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I just managed, I thought of uh, death. Uh, coming up on May 14th, so just uh -huh. managed to ignore it somehow. I've been yeah. ignoring it actually, like I've had, had practice ignoring it for like a year. So I, I was kind of getting ready for the fight like a year out, really. That's awesome. Yeah. So you've yeah. just always been ready to go. Pretty much, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is the kind of guy that can come up off the street and just be ready. Very, very impressive. Right, yeah. What is what is the hardest thing for you, Graham? Uh, what was the hardest thing for you whenever you were training to? to uh, I guess, uh, get accustomed to? Yeah, I'd say it's the mental aspect because I, I've always like put an emphasis on fitness, but getting over this and like hitting somebody else or like, especially Michael, uh, it's just, it's tough. So for me, it's getting over that hurdle. Mm. So it's, uh, so you don't want to inflict pain on Michael? But I will. But you right, will. Right, See, right. that's dedication. <laughs> You know, doing things you don't want to do to get the job done. Incredible. Yeah, yeah. How's, your, Let's uh, get a how's your stock that. market good. portfolio doing? You probably only have like $10 million in your bank account. How's that account, goldfish? So, no. <laughs> it's tasty. <laughs> <You're an idiot. laughs> very good, very good. Thank you guys. Awesome. Very good. <clears throat> Our next fight for the night, the heavyweights. We have Ego Raptor and Harley of Epic Meal Time. Harley, doing, uh, you're doing a lot of stuff these days, aren't you? What's that? You're doing what? a lot of stuff these days. The, the, the vlogging and uh, I mean, you're, you're still- No, I feel like I haven't been doing that much lately, actually. <laughs> Is that a shot? Are you taking a shot at me? No, I'm not. Okay. I would love to, but you know, I, I broke my hand, ironically enough, on an arcade boxing machine uh, in South Korea. So, yeah. Uh, I, I, in fact, I was so scared of fighting that I broke my hand on purpose so I would have an excuse not to fight even though I wasn't built to fight. So, uh, yeah, no, don't, don't worry about that. But, um, yeah, you, I mean, you, you, you're somebody who you have, let me tell you actually, this is my first experience meeting Harley. I walk out there and I'm looking to go get some food with some of my friends, right, my, I got my buddies here. My very first experience meeting Harley, I didn't even ask him. I said, hey, good to meet you, we're gonna go get some food. And he starts giving me recommendations of all the places to eat in the area. And it's, of course, like the Epic Meal Time guy is going to be yeah. the guy who knows everywhere to eat. I'm that kind of guy. I, I'm, I'm like that. I help people out. I'm a very chill guy. If anyone ever told you I wasn't chill, they're a fucking liar. And they're probably not chill. <laughs> and you know what? I got to tell you something. Aaron's a chill guy. I like him. I do. But I want to tell you something else. Uh, and I get it. There's not a lot of people watching Epic Meal Time in 2022. But the people that watch Game Grumps fucking suck he's got and i'll be honest for a second he's got eight billion views and i always ask you see, yeah i'm boxing aaron from game, game grumps they don't know because the people that watch game grumps they're not out there being real people they're not real people they're weird fucking mutant people and, I, and i'm not just saying it like i'm making it up my twitter timeline is filled with people like aaron's gonna fuck you up and then i look at them their display pic it's like muscular shrek sucking his own dick <laughs> I swear, and I'm not gonna kink shame. For sure I won't kink shame. I, I'll nut in my own belly button multiple times a week, sip it out with a straw, so I'm not gonna kink shame. But when you bring dogs into it, that's when it gets weird. And I'll look at these people that are like, Aaron's gonna fuck you up. I'll click on their media on Twitter. 
They draw like humanoid dogs fucking each other. Those are the people that watch Game Grumps. So I like Aaron, but tomorrow I'm going off because of all those fucking weirdos on my timeline. It's your fault. So tomorrow, Aaron, I'm gonna fuck you till you love me, friend. As the co-founder of Game Grumps, how does that make you feel? How does that make me feel? Yeah. <laughs> well, first of all, I want to air a grievance with you, okay? okay. You, you're talking about how Super Mega worked for Markiplier and then went straight to Super Mega. They worked for Game Grumps for like two, three years. Why'd you skip that part? Because everything Harley just said. <laughs> all right, there's nothing wrong with anthropomorphic animals fucking each other, okay? Can I just say that out loud? Can, can we all agree on that? It's great. As long as you're not hurting anybody, draw whatever the hell you want going into whatever the hell else you want. Uh, you can't draw whatever the hell you want. Trust me, you can't. There's a lot of things you can't just draw. I'm telling you right now. And second of all, all right, I love my fans. They're great. You know who I hate? Epic Mealtime fans. All two of you out there, you need to get your shit together, all right? Those two Epic Mealtime fans would fuck up your entire fan base. I know that. They're big boys. They got a, a, a WWE t-shirt on right now. They're, lo they're mad. They're mad. Your fans are honestly, they are fucked up people. They're ill. They're, they're ill. And I like you, Aaron. And I know as YouTubers, we got I love my fans. I wouldn't be here without you. Uh, like, I know that bullshit. There's no way you like your audience. They fucking suck. So, Game Grumps fans, eat shit. Tomorrow I go off and it's your fucking fault. Also, I don't know what the hell you're talking about with people in your mentions being like, oh, he's gonna be, even my fans are like, Harley's gonna fucking fold you, dude. <laughs> Those are my burner accounts, though. <laughs> All right, awesome. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. <laughs> All right, our main event for tomorrow night is going to be Dr. Mike against iDubbbz, the Skull Crusher. Very good. So, <laughs> so iDubbbz is a uh, former, former keyboard warrior, as uh, many of us know. But now he's a real warrior. He's been training. How, how much weight did you, did you put on for this? Like, I have, ooh, uh, like 100 pounds. 100 pounds of yeah. solid muscle. Uh, there's a little bit of fat in there. 100% muscle, you heard him. That is amazing. Very, very good. So here's my question to you. Is, is, is beating up a doctor immoral? <laughs> like, is, is this like a, maybe like a statement? Are you, are, you, are you making a political statement here against like the, the US healthcare system? Yeah, I or something? hate doctors. Yeah. Yeah. No, fuck doctors. They do bad shit all the time. Yeah. No, I mean, that's, how does that they make you They give you feel? the jab. Oh, really? You don't that, want yeah. the jab. Hell, absolutely, that's right. Hell. How's it make you feel, Dr. Mike? I feel like the jab keeps you alive, though. You want the jab. You don't want just the first jab. You want the second jab and the third jab, and maybe the fourth booster if you're severely ill. I'll give you the jab. <laughs> so, speaking of jabs, does, do your doctor skills translate to your combat skills? They probably do in terms of training, uh, understanding how your heart rate works, your injuries, overcoming Please. those things. Please. So are you going to try and target his vital organs and try and make him uh, kidneys, heart, lungs, penis? Absolutely, because when you go to medical school, you take the Hippocratic Oath, but part of that is there's an exception at section 116.4D mm. that says you're allowed to prescribe these hands. There you go. I believe, uh, I, yeah, I believe I saw that in your, uh, when you were People's Magazine's 2015 Sexiest Doctor Alive. Yeah, that was seven years ago, so. Yeah, what happened? 2015? I mean, come on. No one's won it since. I guess you could say I'm the reigning one, so I'll oh, take well, there that. There you go. There you go. So if you end up hurting Ian, will you also nurse him back to health? Absolutely. Ian's the man. Okay, well, here's my problem with this. Isn't that a conflict of interest? Like, you know, you're, you're hurting him and then you're, you know, you're gonna charge him for doctor care. I mean, that's actually like a really There's probably thing some like. antitrust thing that I'm breaking by doing that for sure. Yeah. So will you go to jail or eh, just put it under the rug? I don't know, if, 
If enough people watch it and report me, probably so. Oh, there you go. Ian. Yes. He's a handsome guy, isn't he? He's looking pretty good. To be honest? To, to be honest, your mic just turned off somehow. Yeah. What's, okay. And then there it we turned go. back on. I better not uh, move. I don't know. Uh, have you seen his haircut? Yeah, you know, it was, I was better before. The same thing, actually. It was better before. What is going on with the hair? What is going on with the hair, Mike? He'll explain it to you. It's, it's, it was like a, what was it? Who was, who was the person who got the it hair? It was original? a rock star hairstylist that told yeah. me he's going to make me look like Beckham. Yeah. yeah. And he, he charged you $1,000 for it, I'm sure. Close. Well, there you go. What, what, uh, so you've been doing boxing for 10 years, Mike. Is that true? I wish I never said that statement. <laughs> so how many years have you actually been No, no, been my producer before? was like, oh, you should tell people your history with boxing. And I said, okay, I've been boxing for 10 years, like participating in the sport of hitting a punching bag, some pads, and now it's come back to haunt me as if I've been a secret pro all this time through oh. medical school residency. That is not the case. So the reality of it is it's actually been 20 years. <laughs> well, I did do martial arts growing up, so I did eight years of Taekwondo. That's for real. Well, there you go. So, you know, 10 plus 8, it's like 30 years. So, you've got a hell of a lot of experience, Mike. Items, on the other hand, I mean, this all started with wanting to fight rice gum. Hello. 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 Goodbye. What? I don't know. Business. Hell yeah. Look at that. That's, hey, yeah. sportsmanship. I there like you go. This. Look at that. Sportsmanship. This all, all right. started with wanting to fight rice gum. Is that, is that true? What was that? Didn't this all start with wanting to fight rice gum? Yeah. He's a pussy. Yeah, he's a pussy. He's just a huge pussy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I thought, like, a lot of these guys would be pussies, but none of them are. Yeah. I was inviting him to it, and they all said yes immediately. Surprising. Yeah, that's true. We got, a, we got a lot of badasses on stage, don't we? A hell of a lot of badasses on stage. So, when did you actually start training for boxing? When this whole event start? Because I... Uh, everybody knows, if you don't know, iDubs is the, the event organizer. I mean, this, this whole thing started with, with, with iDubs. So, and Anissa as well. Anissa as well. I'm putting a lot on you, aren't I? Yeah, I mean, you're just saying the stuff. I'm cool with it. I could sit here. Cool. <laughs> no, no. We, we, uh, we started back in July uh, of last year. And uh, Anissa, my wife, and I have just been grinding uh, ever since. You know, we had no idea how to put an event together, but uh, it's coming together. It's coming together really well, really, really well. This has been really impressive so far. And uh, actually, we went to the venue today and uh, kind of like did a, did a light run through some of the stuff. And we will do more of that uh, before the show tomorrow, of course. And, and this thing is going to be nuts. How, didn't, didn't you say the entire lower bowl sold out like within the first day? Yeah, well, within like 10 minutes, the entire 10 minutes. lower bowl, yeah. That's, that's how hyped up this event is. The in-person mm -hmm. tickets, the entire lower bowl was sold out within the first 10 minutes. Of, uh, of this thing going on. So this is going to be very, very exciting. A lot of training has gone into this. A lot of effort has gone into this on, on the back end as well. What, what was the biggest thing that you had to do, lifestyle changes that you had to make to get ready for this, uh, this boxing match? I had to eat a bunch of food. You can see it in my big distended belly. That's, hey, that's how it yeah. goes. And Dr. Mike was bullying me on Twitter today about it. He was posting my physique versus his. And yeah, it's not as impressive. Bitch, that's bullying. You can't do that. It was only in response to your cyberbullying of photoshopping images of me on Twitter earlier in the day. That's okay, though. I can do that. You're a doctor. People respect you. They don't. They expect that of me. Yeah, nobody's respected Ian in years. Okay. <laughs> so uh, you, you, you've been training, you've been doing this whole thing. You got LASIK to, to, to be able to box. Right? Yes, thanks for noticing. I did. Your eyes, your eyes are just beautiful. Yeah. Uh, has anybody ever told you that? Just you. Well, I mean, well, they're not as good as Dr. Mike's. You know, Dr. Mike's eyes are just incredible. Yeah, but his eyes aren't like as deep set as mine, right. which is kind of a cool thing, in yeah. my opinion. True, true, it is, it is. So, Mike. Microphone. Yo. 
So you, you, you say you've been hitting a, a bag, hitting, a, hitting a, a punching bag for 10 years. Well, residency is stressful. It is. So did you ever hit dead bodies, like cadavers, for your training? Can you say? No. So no or no you can't say? No, you, you treat cadavers it. with respect. Oh, OK. I saw Rocky. I mean, it's like the same thing, dead cow, dead person. It's all the same. I actually thought that was ridiculous. I did a whole doctor reacts to Rocky. I don't know why he's punching a cow with ribs in it, breaking his fists. It makes no sense. But just because it's more badass. It's just cool. I mean, I broke my hand on an arcade boxing machine. So <clears throat> for, for you, 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 you've been doing weight training. You've been doing boxing training. What is, uh, what, what is the biggest thing for you in, in your training that uh, you, you really amped up whenever you were uh, getting ready for this fight specifically? Well, before I was doing training even late last year, but now in 2022, we stepped it up with sparring and sparring guys that have experience, guys that had fights before, and sparring them competitively. So we're trying to do this seriously. We want to come out and do something in boxing. So that kind of sparring really takes a toll on your body. You get injuries every time you have a session. I bled a lot. Uh, my nose bleeds easily. Don't use that to your advantage. <laughs> but um, it's, it's truly, everyone coming up on the stage here today, they're warriors. Like, you're coming in, you're putting your life on the line. This is serious, you know. We're making jokes about it. But we're actually going to hit each other. And this is a serious sport. So we need to take it seriously. We need to respect it once we all step in the ring. And actually, um, for everyone at home that wants to box, we encourage that, right? We want everyone to be physically active and healthy. Mm. But it doesn't mean you have to go fight other people. It means you can do a boxing fitness class like I was doing for 10 years. You don't all have to become warriors like Harley and Idubs here, so. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, bro. Something about those animatronic dogs just... <laughs> That's going to stick in my head. So, Ian, Ian. This is uh, Mike. Mike, Mike. Very good. So, one of the big things that, that Ian has talked about multiple times, that I, and I want you to touch on this again, is, is uh, about respecting the sport of boxing and, and going from uh, kind of what a lot of people see influencer boxing as and, and what you really want the creator clash to be as an event. I mean, it is a charity boxing event, uh, but also like beyond that, whenever it comes to more the sport of boxing and how it's approached by, uh, by content creators. Yeah, I, I think we, uh, we tried to give uh, all of our fighters like as much time as possible. There's a few people that like, you know, started a little bit late, but I think that's one of the more important things with influencer boxing is making sure that you're not rushing anything and you're giving people ample time to learn how to, act, how to actually defend themselves against a punch. And uh, I think the majority of these guys know how to do that. Uh, so <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll see what happens tomorrow. But <laughs> what, what would you say your starting point was in your training? Like when you were like, I'm going to box back in July, what, where were you at day one? Oh, what, what, do, you, what do you mean? I was, I sucked. Yeah. But I mean, like, did, what, what was your, like, do you play sports in high school? Did you play? Like, oh you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Like no, none of that. You just no. didn't do anything. I learned how to do a kickflip before. Oh, that's sick. Yeah. I played Tony Hawk. Yeah, yeah, I couldn't do it like rolling though, only in place oh. on a carpet. <laughs> Is that more impre isn't that more impressive on a carpet? Cause it's no, like, it's no, it just stays still. Oh, okay. It's a little springy as well. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. So, uh, so you, you, you basically changed your entire lifestyle over the course of last year for, to, for this event. Yeah. That's sick. I just boxed and like walked my dogs and uh, boxed and what else did I do? Did you? Huh. Box, perhaps? Yeah, yeah I did, did one of those. Wow. Uh, awesome. Yeah, that's about it. Sick. And got LASIK. Yes. Very good. Very good. Uh, is there anything else that either of you guys want to say? I'm going to do the nice guy thing and say we've got to give a huge round of applause for Ian for making this thing happen. <laughs> As someone who has been doing boxing for 10 years. It takes a lot of guts to fight someone who has been doing that. So props to you, for real, for, for doing that. Um, and thanks for everyone for coming out. Yeah.
Awesome. Awesome. So, uh, All right, wait, wait, wait. I got some stuff to say Okay, now. okay. Uh, thank you, Dr. Mike, for accepting the fight. I know I'm very intimidating. Uh, and thank you to my wife, Anissa, for <laughs> setting this whole thing up. I, I couldn't do any of this on my own. Uh, that's it. Cool, awesome. We're actually gonna take some questions from, uh, from the media as well. We've got some uh, members of uh, the media here. So, um, do we have, uh, do we have, do we have a, a mic guy? Do we have a second mic or do I have a mic off? You got it? Okay, awesome. Uh, okay, great. So, uh, let's go ahead and get this started. We've got our, our media, do we have any questions? What's uh, something unorthodox that you guys uh, maybe didn't think that you would have to do uh, to train for this boxing match? Um, maybe something that you didn't expect or, yeah. <laughs> Anything that you had to give up? Are you just, uh, hello? Hello? Is this working? Yeah? Uh, I was smoking five hash joints every single day. Nice. And I don't do that anymore. <laughs> yeah. My mic, can I turn my mic on? Hello? Maybe, can, okay. can, can we leave everybody's mics on? Is that, or is that? I think it's on now, can you hear me? Okay, can I say come on this live stream? Sure. Okay. My, I said, I said uh, it. Our I coach won't let, wouldn't let us uh, nut for the last two weeks. Yes. I just want to go on record that that's a thing we couldn't do. Wait, you guys. Have you nutted recently? I was told four weeks. Four weeks? Four weeks, yeah. Okay. You guys got to nut? <laughs> no, I, oh. Oh, yeah, I did shit. hear uh, semen retention was uh, an, a, a good thing, a good strategy. I completely ignored it. <laughs> and I actually don't believe any of these guys, by the way, that they, they did. Fantastic, fantastic. Okay, very good. Um, next question. Uh, hi, I got a couple questions for a couple different fighters if you have time for that. Go, go ahead, go right ahead. All right, so first one would be Minx. Did your nickname start with Celtic by chance before the other word? Um, yes. Perfect. I thought as much. Yeah, you want to say it? Because I can't, because I'll get banned again. But you can say what you think the name is. Who you that? know what? I'll go for it. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't think that's a good idea. You sure, that's fan? You sure? Yeah, I mean, yeah. It's, it is. Yeah. Well, it's yeah, not our no. channel. <laughs> no. Yeah, I'm not a channel. <laughs> you know, this, is, this is live streamed on Ian. Ian, are you okay? I think, no, I think he gets in trouble. I think he gets in trouble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something. I mean, I, oh, well, I'll ban S fan every day for Asman's sake. Hey, it is what it is. You know what? I'll, I'll well, do you a favor, yeah, well, S fan. We'll for skip. OTK's sake, you know. Yeah. All right. So, uh, Matt, are you related to either Pete Davidson or Machine Gun Kelly? <laughs> yeah, we're actually uh, first cousins. And uh, you, they, you look it. They, yeah, they, they actually helped me train a little bit. They showed me how to like, really get my under eye circles to be darker. Uh, how to really have like a sunken in kind of look. So, yeah. Yeah, I, I thought as much. Uh, so, Dr. Mike, when Ian breaks your nose, are you gonna reset it and keep going with the match or are you just gonna call it quits there? I'm gonna try and just ignore it and then after the fight, take care of it. Okay, yeah. It's responsible but I'm gonna push through. Got it. Okay. Uh, Aaron, do you feel like you have a home field advantage being back in Florida? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> no, I forgot how to walk through the soupy air. It's, <laughs> it is so humid here, and I'm sick of it. Well, if you manage to win, I'm going to get your haircut, because it's time for me to get one. Wow, okay. Are you talking about the, this yeah. situation going on? Yes, of course. Yeah. Okay, cool. I know a great lady. She's right up the street. Well, let me get the contact info. Hell yeah. If you win, which hardly... You, you want to calm down where you draw dogs having sex or something? <laughs> I'm getting that vibe. I'm getting the, the, the humanoid dogs having sex vibes from you now. Harley, my qu next question was for you. It was about the retention, which you already said you don't do, which, but that's how confident I am in you. Because I have to go back to a day job later, and sorry, Aaron, but mm, kind of mid. That's cringe, dude. <laughs> I'm based as hell. Based on what? Dude. <laughs> I don't know these internet terms. I was like flexing already, but no one. By the way, I'm from Know Your Meme. 
Okay. And your entry going right in the trash after this. Dude, what the hey? <gasps> what am I going to tell my mom? I like this guy doesn't draw dogs fucking. <laughs> Michael Reeds. Yes. What was harder, preparing for this or writing stock code? Stock code? Yeah, for your fish. For my, oh. Yeah. Uh, sock code? Stock. Stock code, fuck. Stock. Do you already have like bad ears? Yeah, yeah, I got punched so much for this. I don't think, I don't remember <laughs> dick, sorry. <laughs> um, stock. Sock, yeah. stock code, yeah. yeah, stock code. This one, I, I, I would just wake up and like, it was hard for the beginning, but then my eyes would just like glaze over every morning. And I would just be done with it at, at like 1 p.m. That yeah. is surprisingly common with other people that I've talked to about yeah, yeah, writing yeah. code. Yeah, yeah. They say they just go into a blur and it just happens. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I was talking about the boxing, but yeah, the, the code yeah, is well. same thing, basically. Surely you both, yeah. Surely yeah, both. you don't know what you're doing yeah, either way. I spend maybe like 5% of the day in full conscious lucidity, so. <laughs> uh, A.B., did carrying the H3 podcast help you prepare for the mental <laughs> stress of dealing with this? I'm not answering that. <laughs> All right, let's see. Um, How many questions oh, does this guy get? <laughs> I got a clipboard, but no, last question. Grant? Grant. Close Steve. enough. Steven? Steven. 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 Stephen? Stephen. Steven. Did you up your life insurance? You know what? I actually I asked Ian about life insurance. He's like, I don't know. Talk to somebody else. So uh, maybe I should. I'll, I'll make a few phone calls. Can you help me with that? For a, for a price, you know. Okay, you know, that's fine. Yeah, no, no worries. Any, any price is fine. hundred dollars. Yeah, no. Right, he's, so. Harley's going to fold me, right, so. Cool. <laughs> According to my fans. I'll buy that, too. We can, take a, we can take a few more questions from the audience. We got, we got some more here. Hey, what's up? My name's Sam. How are you guys? Uh, so, yeah, <laughs> thanks. Uh, Ian, like, this one's for you. I mean, we've seen so many different influencer boxing events. Some really high profile. Some that are, like... Kind of bad. <laughs> what made you take this on? Like, this is kind of a crazy thing to do. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, yeah, I didn't want to do it. I wanted, like, other people to do it. Uh, but, yeah, I, I think it, we've, we've seen a lot of the other YouTuber boxing events, and, like, I, like, I'm not a huge fan of, like, Logan Paul, Jake Paul. They're just kind of... Uh, mid or whatever kids are saying these days cringe <laughs> yeah not based um uh but i think all these guys are super based <laughs> so uh i i felt like we do you know obviously a different event i feel like this uh, press conference is sort of an indication of that i think the the fighting styles you're gonna see a lot of different weird shit uh <laughs> maybe there's gonna be some kicks uh some kisses uh, I don't know. It's going to be wild. <laughs> uh, yeah, next. Uh, hello, uh, Lake McCallie, uh, Florida Sentinel Bulletin. Uh, this is addressed to Ian Idubs. Um, so I have two questions for you. Uh, how did you choose your charities for this event? And um, yeah, well, I'll go on. Uh, uh, how did you choose Tampa? For your first site, and it, do you plan on making this a recurring event? And do you plan for Tampa to stay as the main site? Can you remember all that? <laughs> Sorry. Easy. <laughs> okay. uh, oh yeah, um, Alzheimer's uh, Foundation is uh, very dear to me and my wife. Uh, her father suffers from early onset, so uh, you know that was just a no-brainer for us. Uh, American Heart Association as well and a few other charities. We're just sort of like adding charities on as we go. Um, and yeah, Tampa just, you know, the, the air's nice here. It lubricates the joints. <laughs> it, it's, it's like the boxing city as far as I'm concerned. So we're definitely gonna do it again somewhere in Florida, probably. Maybe Tampa. <laughs> All right, thank you. Hey, and one thing I want to add real quick for people watching on Twitch, if you guys want to watch the uh, pay-per-view event, which you all should, again, it's a charity boxing event, you can go to thecreatorclash.com, mods, if you can link it in the channel. Uh, you can go there, you get your pay-per-view ticket, and uh, you enjoy the show tomorrow night at uh, 7 Eastern? Something like that. You so, can figure Eastern? it out. Just look yeah. online. Yeah, it's on the website. You'll figure it out. So I just want to add real quick, talking about the charities. Uh, she had a question. We'll take one more question after this. 
Hi, this is for anybody. Um, have you guys like developed a passion for boxing through this and do you can plan to continue even if it's not through events like this? Hell yeah. Dude, it rules. I'm, like way into it. 100%. Fuck no, no. <laughs> Sorry, no. I, w I would love to continue it for the exercise, but I've been hit in the head so many times during sparring. Sometimes I'm just dizzy afterwards, randomly. Yeah, no, no. It's fun though, for exercise, yeah. Yeah, I'm also on the fuck no side. Yeah, I yeah. gained a lot of respect for boxers. I've always respected the sport, but especially real, yeah. now after seeing what goes into it. But me, myself, no. Win or lose, I'm out. <laughs> my, one, yeah, my one and yeah. done. I slowly have been liking it more because when I started, it was just me being out of breath and getting punched a lot. And I was like, this is not fun. Well, and uh, then as I started to become a professional, uh, I really started to enjoy it more because then I was the one kicking ass, not getting my ass kicked. Uh, so maybe, maybe as I continue in my pro career, I'll start to love it even more. Perhaps I would. Um, I'm also thinking about wrestling, if that's an option, but we'll see what happens. Uh, yeah, I love boxing, but they getting hit in the head? Absolutely not. I guess we're just going down the line now. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I've uh, I've met so many amazing people like just through boxing, and uh, I would want to continue that just to like be in contact with with all the people that you know I, I look up to. So, yeah, I, I would do it just for the the health of it. I don't know if I would want to get hit in the head again. Uh, absolutely. If anyone needs an undercard for any future fights, uh, please hit me up. Thank you. Um, yes, it's been a lot more fun than I thought it would. Uh, just getting hit in the head is not always fun. But yes, I would like to continue boxing. Yeah, it's the same for me. It's great. It's great for your cardio. And as for getting hit in the head, if you get hit in the head hard enough, you just forget about it. So it's great. <laughs> Look, straight up, in one year, I hope to be back on this stage with S-Fan telling me that I still look good for my age. And he will. He will. Yeah, uh, yeah I really actually love it. And uh, it's kind of oddly therapeutic in a way, just to kind of focus on one thing and get some aggression out. But yeah, I do kind of want to continue doing this afterwards. Hi, it's me, Dad. Yes. As we all know, I've been programmed for this, so I will continue to do this. And Nexpo, you know what you did. Oliver Tree, you know what you did. Sive, you know what you did. Dad will come for all of you. Dad will take all of YouTube down tonight. Meet me in the alley. Bro, I never know what's going on behind me. This, <laughs> this entire press conference, I'm like, what the fuck? Uh, yeah, boxing rules. Uh, I want to see how many answers change as a result of tomorrow night. This is like a question you should ask them when like there's like blood running down their face. Be like, so are you gonna keep going? So we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, I love it for the exercise, so I'll definitely continue for that. But uh, one and only fight. All right, very good. We'll take. Uh, let's give them a round of applause. Yeah, yeah, I like that. That's good. Very good. Let's take one last question here. We have a couple announcements. One last question. Oh. A lot of people have been talking about getting punched in the head. And uh, I forget who said it, but everyone has a plan until they get punched in the face. I'm sure you guys know who I'm talking about. Uh, this question is for Dad. Um, do you feel pain? And will that adjust a plan or a strategy? Interesting question. I'm so happy we had this random question for DadBot tonight. No, I have not been programmed with pain receptors, so I will destroy and obliterate Matt Watson. Same question, Matt Watson. I also don't feel pain, so it's not really that big. A, it's not that impressive. <laughs> it's, it's the crack, isn't it? 100% the crack. Okay. Very good. Awesome. So, uh, guys, just a, a couple of announcements. Um, we are watching this on Twitch. We have a great audience here. We're going to have a massive audience in person tomorrow night. A uh, couple of announcements. One, real quick, uh, from my own org, OTK. Uh, we are doing a restock of the merch drop. A lot of people at home are probably watching and they've been asking about it a whole ton. You can go to shop.otknetwork.com tomorrow. I believe it's at noon. There's a restock of uh, the, the spring drop that we did. 
it sold out in like three minutes. We weren't expecting that, so we did a big restock of that. But what else we have going on, of course, for the event itself, for the Creator Clash, again, you can go to thecreatorclash.com and you can get your, uh, your pay-per-view tickets. It's, it's going to be an amazing, amazing charity event. Like you, as you can see, there's been so much work put in by not only the fighters, but everybody on the back end, the production, everything. So uh, let's, get, let's get one more round of applause for everybody, everybody involved. It's going to be incredible. It is going to be absolutely incredible. So uh, I guess from Tampa, we will see you guys tomorrow night. Thank you for joining us. So everybody come, come yeah, let's get a big let's get a big photo with everybody. Everybody dab.